put it on half the brain, obviously, because I cannot put the other half. And you see very clearly the fox cerebri. You see the fox cerebri? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the same picture that you've seen. And you have the inferior sinus right here underneath and the superior sagittal sinus on top, okay? Now, if you open this into two, you will be seeing the triangular area of the superior sagittal sinus. You're not gonna see this on your brains, okay? So here is inferior, superior, okay? Sagittal sinus, the whole thing that's sharp is called the Falx cerebri, okay? And I don't have another part, so this is the only one I have here, okay? But you should have it, you're gonna see it in a moment on your reprints, okay? What else can you see from the outside? You can see, let's put this together. Do these belong to each other? Yes, they do, okay? Mm. Yes, <laughs> okay. Olfactory bulb, olfactory tract. Olfactory tract right here. So it's uh, two, it's it's going from two different ways, or? It's right and left. Oh, okay. It's okay. No. All right. <laughs> and then we have the optic track, uh, optic nerve, number two. And then it makes a crisscrossing. This is called the optic chiasm. Continues to make up the optic tract, okay? But it's not made of the same fibers. Half the fibers come from this side, and half the fibers come from the other side. Okay? So the and olfactory the same tract is actually deep into here too then, right? It's or? not olfactory. Oh. This is optic. Oh, okay. So but it's inside that part too? This is the olfactory. Oh, okay. Okay? Olfactory and auditory go to the temporal lobe. Okay? So olfaction and hearing go to the temporal lobe. Optic goes to the occipital lobe. Okay? So this is the optic chiasm. All right? And this opening here is where the pituitary gland used to be located. So if you put this, you interpose it on this here, like so. Okay? If you reconnect those optic tracks together, right here, you can see very clearly that this part here had the remainder or the connection of the pituitary gland, which is right here. You see the big bulk here? That's the pituitary gland that was attached here. Okay? And then, since we're at it, these are the optic nerves attached to or attaching the extraocular muscles that we just talked about. Those are big okay? nerves. Yeah? All right. And then you can see here, if you have good eyes, okay, or bad eyes, you can see the optic nerve right there. See? That's the optic nerve. Very typical very thick, very shiny, you cannot cut through it. You cannot, okay? And uh, it continues, so they come together and they crisscross, they make the optic chiasm, and each one of them, half and half, go to one direction, and they make up the optic tract, okay? To go all the way to the back to hit the occipital lobe of the brain, right? From the front, from the base of the brain, you can also see the two finger-like projection, these here, okay? There is one and there's the other, okay? So this is what? This are, these are the cerebral peduncle, okay? Which make up what? The midbrain. Now, if you move further with your finger, fingers if you want, and you go to the back and you flip the brain like so, you will see four cherries, okay? These are the superior and inferior curriculi. Together they make up, can you see? Uh, Procromo sign, okay? Don't be shy, come closer. So those are the four? Yes, corpora, quadri, gemina. Okay. All right, superior to superior to inferior curriculi. So superior, right? inferior. Yeah, hey, no touchy, touchy. Yes. Now we have <laughs> the middle of the <laughs> cerebellum, which is the vermiform, okay? or the vermis, if you want, which is the body or of the cerebellum. These are the two cerebellar hemispheres, okay? And if you, I said, look at the continuation of these, 
this is or these are the superior and inferior curricula. So all this together is L midbrain. Okay, that's the superior what again? I'm sorry. What? Uh, this little thing here. Probe. Uh, probe. Okay. This little thing. No. Oh wait, that's no. nothing. No, that's nothing. Oh okay. These are <laughs> the two cerebral cerebral peduncles. Okay. Oh, okay. You wanna know what these are? Yes, okay. cerebral p uncles. There we go, okay? Uh, yeah, p uncles. And then you have here the <laughs> pons. Okay, p uncles. What's p uncles? P, p uncles! <laughs> now you have here the pons, okay? And you have the medulla oblongata, okay? And you might be able to see it here. Let me see if I can show somewhere else the one and only basilar groove. And remember, here is where the circle of Willis occurs, okay? So this is the pons, medulla oblongata, and eventually L spinal cord, okay? This is what you can see from the outside, all right? Let's go over the gamma real fast. Numero uno, olfactory bulb, olfactory track, the one that goes sideways, okay? Or, um, optic nerve, two of them, optic chiasm right here, optic track, Cerebral peduncle, pons, medulla, oblongata, and spinal cord. You can see here the temporal lobe of L brain, which takes auditory and olfactory sensations. All right? Now we're going to flip this over and we're going to see the brain from the outside. If you looky looky with your eyes and pass your fingers along this, you will see that there's a groove. Okay? That groove is called the central sulcus. Precentral is? Hmm? Afferent. Oh, wait, no. Afferent. Afferent. Hmm? Okay, both of your hands will go. <laughs> Precentral. Oh, no. Um, Motor. What is Afferent? Afferent, this is the cable. I just say. Do you see the cable here? No. Do you see the cable here? No, I don't. Thank you. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Motor. This is called the prefrontal gyrus. Okay? Precentral gyrus. Actually, postcentral has to be sensory. Yeah. sensory. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, the other one is the other one. I love it. I love it. I love it. Did you get anything out of this? Nothing. <laughs> postcentral gyrus is what in medicine? Black and white. There's no such a thing as around the corner, uh, uh, behind you, no, no. So this is the post center gyrus, the main sensory area, all right? Okay, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe. Longitudinal sulcus, technically this is where the folk cerebri was sleeping day and night, okay? Now, if you separate the brain into two, you will see that we are cutting through the corpus callosum. Is white and awesome. So this is the corpus callosum right there. Okay, this connects the two cerebral hemispheres. Okay, now when you cut on one side, one side will be without, and one side will be with. With what? Without. So you see the lateral ventricle, and the other one is with the septum pellucidum, which is right there. Okay? I thought that one's a, a, a pellucidum. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> septum. Septum. Pellucidum. Pellucidum. There we okay. go. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So <laughs> septum pellucidum right here, and obviously behind this is the cavity of a lateral ventricle. Okay? Now we get from the lateral ventricles, this is technically the part of the thalamus, yes? That makes up the wall of the third ventricle, yes? yes? So this is the part, this is my hand here. This is one here, one here, third ventricle is in the middle. When I go with the knife, I don't have a third ventricle. You get the concept? Yeah. Okay. Like, that would be where the hypothalamus is. No, this is the thalamus, uh -huh. okay? Right below the thalamus is the hypothalamus. Okay. <clears throat> okay? Gotcha. Now, comes out of the third ventricle, 
the aqueduct of sylvius, which is right here. You see what this is? Yes. What is this? These are the epidermal cells, okay? So these are the cells that were making the cerebrospinal fluid. And you'll see some over here too. And if you dig further, you'll see some here, and there is some over there. You see these? Okay. And then eventually it goes into the fourth ventricle, which is the tent-like shape that goes into the substance of the cerebellum. You see a beautiful picture of the tree of life. This is a cross-section of the cerebellum, and that's what you have seen under the microscope. This is called the tree of life, arbor vitae cerebelli, okay? And then from the floor of the fourth ventricle, okay, there is the continuation which becomes the central canal of L spinal cord. Here is the central canal. Capish? Now, we get to the midbrain, which is technically right here, okay? This is the cerebral peduncle, yes? Yes, so we're gonna flip it here. And the continuation here, if you open this up, we have what, the superior and inferior colliculi, okay? So this whole area here is L midbrain, okay? You can come closer, you can soak, you can soak, it, your, you can soak your glasses. But it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's just here, it doesn't include this. Part. No, okay, just... what does it include is nothing. Okay, gotcha. Okay? So this part here, from here to there, uh, remember the borders are what, the cerebral peduncle uh, and the superior and inferior okay. So this part here and here, if you want. What's in the middle, okay? Yeah. It's in between. And then right after this, you come, comes <coughs> our friend the pons, the belt, okay? And you can see there is the cross section is, is round, okay? Because it's like a belt. So when you cut the cross section, sagittal, looks like a circle. Make sense? Right. The lower part here is the medulla oblongata, eventually becomes the spinal cord, okay? Now we can see very clearly the central sulcus from here, pre and post, okay? You wanna see it on your L brains, you go like so and you stop, okay? Same thing, pre and post central gara. And you're gonna see the exact same thing here. Do I have another part of the brain? Either one of them, you see this here? Mm -hmm. Look at this, you go like so, stop. Yeah, so. Alrighty? Yeah. Any questions or concerns? This is not the case. The ball is in your field. Go ahead and start your dissection. You want to take a looky-looky 